I honestly have no idea why IBM would not use 27 times 132 as the default screen size. Two exclamation points. Because um, it just makes sense, right? Oh, my typos were terrible there. Uh, let's just record a really quick video again. So let me whip back into ACS. Here we are. I'm going to connect to um, a completely different machine. Let's go on the good old Pub 400 this time. Uh, what is my Pub 400 password? Um, that is my password. So here's my Pub 400 screen. Ugh, it's awful, isn't it? If you see the previous snippet that I just did, you can change these colors, but I'm keeping these colors as they are. Uh, what is my password again? How can I type a password in and then immediately forget it? So here's my screen. 24 by 80 is the standard IBM screen, as you know. However, when I try and run one of um, the projects for our utilities, most modern screens that you look at now in modern applications are using the 27132 size. So rather than 24 lines and 80 characters wide, they're 27 lines and 132 characters wide. Back in the olden days, 30, 20, 30 years ago, the days of the AS400 systems and the System 38s, before we had Windows emulators, you would have your console plugged in through TwinX, you know, straight into the machine, and you bought two different types. You bought one that was a cathode ray tube with 24 lines and 80 characters wide on it, and one that was bigger, it was 27 by 132. So we can emulate both those screen sizes. Now the nice thing is that when we're running in um, regular mode on the system, oh, I can't do it because I haven't, I haven't got a widescreen. What else can I see that's widescreen? How about I go and look at some SEU? See, I was going to make it quick, but I'm just waffling away. Right, let's have a look at a bit of a program. So here is a basic program. Um, you can't really see this here, but what you can see is I'm only seeing 80 characters wide of what's in this source member. Um, and that's because I'm configured as a 24 by 80 screen. Changing it in ACS is super easy. Be aware that when you change your screen size, you can save it so it's a default, but it will end your session that you're signed on as. Because when you connect to the IBM I system, it creates a device description for you. And part of that device description attributes will say this is a 24 by 80 screen or this is a 27 by 132 screen. So I'm just going to sign off because I'm neat and tidy like that. And I'm going to click on communication. I'm going to disconnect myself because I'm neat and tidy, you don't need to, because you, you'll be disconnected automatically when you configure it. Click on Configure under the Communication menu option in ACS. What you'll notice here is your connection details to your system, and look, the screen size, 2480 or 27132. IBM, make 27132 the default. Oh, you pesky buggers. Um, yeah, just select your uh, screen size. You can do all this auto-connect and auto-reconnect business, do whatever you like, I'm not going to cover that now. And you just say OK. ACS reinitiates a connection with the machine, that's it beeping. And here I am now signed on. The beauty of 27 by 132 is any screens that you see that were already compiled in 2480, the sign-on screen for example, will just render as normal. Then when you go to an application that's making use of that wide screen, it will ding, show it. However, if you've configured your connection as 2480, when you try and um, open a 27132 application, it crashes because 2480 can't get bigger, but 27132 can always get smaller. So let's sign on and have a look at that source member that we were just looking at and see if it looks any better. This is a 24 by 80 menu. It looks the same, right? Oops. We're going to PDM. This is a 2480 screen. It looks the same, right? But if I look at source code, ooh, look. The source code is a 27 by 132 screen. So if you remember just a second ago, or if you rewind, I only saw the first 80 characters or so, which I think was that. Whereas now I have access to the full screen. 
So when you and I have you know an extra line down in the screen size or, or a line or two. So even if you're stuck with using old SEU for doing source code stuff, and you haven't got you know RDI or, or another source code tool, the first thing I always do is flick yourself into 27132. It makes looking at screens easier. It makes editing source easier. Easy peasy. Um, the last thing to remember, of course, is that when you disconnect, save your configuration details and call it whatever you like. I've got mine's called Nick, so I'm going to save it as Nick. Now, when you open it again, you'll see it in widescreen. That's it. Widen your perspectives.